A teenage human trafficking victim who killed her accused rapist has been ordered to pay $150,000 restitution to the man's family. 17-year-old Piper Lewis was sentenced Tuesday after she pleaded guilty last year to involuntary manslaughter in the stabbing death of 37-year-old Zachary Brooks in 2020. My story can change things. My story has changed me. The events that took place on that horrific day cannot be changed as much as I wish they could. That day, a combination of complicated actions took place, resulting in the death of a person as well as stolen innocence of a child. At the time, Lewis was a repeat runaway who had been taken in by a man named Christopher Brown, who portrayed himself as her boyfriend while he trafficked her for sex. In May of 2020, she said Brown told her she would have to stay with Zachary Brooks and have sex with him for giving her shelter. She said Brooks raped her multiple times before she stabbed him after the final sexual assault in June of that year. Lewis was arrested the following day. She was originally charged for first-degree murder, but later pleaded guilty to involuntary manslaughter. While her lawyers had argued paying restitution to the accused's family was cruel and unusual punishment, after the sentencing, an attorney said it did not concern the 17-year-old. That's not the most important and pressing concern that she has. She wants to move on with her life. She's got her entire life in front of her. She has uh, all these opportunities ahead of her. So uh, the restitution is really not something that she's bothered by at this point. According to reports, police and prosecutors have not disputed Lewis was sexually assaulted and trafficked. But as Brooks was asleep when he was stabbed, they said he was not an immediate danger to Lewis. During her sentencing hearing Tuesday, Lewis's lawyers accused Brown of aiding and abetting sex trafficking, but police have still not pressed charges. Instead of facing 20 years in prison, Lewis will instead have to serve 600 hours community service with five years probation. While jail was taken off the table, she could still face prison time if she breaks her probation conditions. In the U.S., dozens of states have instituted safe harbor laws, giving trafficking victims some levels of criminal immunity. But in Lewis's case in Iowa, she will have to face her sentence. Sean Preble, Global News.